Hi everyone, I'm Josie and thank you for being here with me today. I'm really excited to be sharing a Latin message with all of you. Um, and as I was really thinking through the passage that was given to me, which is Matthew 9, 9 to 13, I had to really sit in the passage to feel what God was sharing with me to share with you today. Um, and so the title of this message is, Are You the Party Animal or the Party Pooper at the Celebration of Believers? Throughout the Bible, you will see countless times where individuals and groups of believers were called to have festivities of celebration, of dancing and music and um, community. And I think that we often in our church communities forget about this important role of celebration of life, of mem memories, of memorials, um, of weddings. Um, and so I think that we are all called to celebrate in each other's joy in our time um, of following Christ. Whether we are talking about the lost sheep or the prodigal son, we are called to celebrate. But when we are invited to the celebration, are we the party animal or are we the party pooper? So I'm going to read to you Matthew 9, 9 through 13. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting in the tax collector booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Then it happened that as Jesus was reclining at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were dining with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why is your teacher eating with the tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, It is not those who are healthy who need a physician but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire compassion and not sacrifice, for I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. So I'm going to split this passage into two pieces, starting with verses 9 and 10. In this passage, Matthew himself is sharing his biographical description of that moment he decided to follow Christ when he was called. Um, when he was called, he was literally sitting in a toll booth, um, which is likely the type of taxes that he was collecting. We know from historical uh, stories or the Bible itself that tax collectors were not seen as the top uh, rung of society. They were seen as sinners. They were seen as individuals that were patting the po their own pockets um, by overcharging and overtaxing other individuals. And this was even more true in Judea, um, where they were primarily a Jewish community under Roman rule. And so, obviously, an individual working for the Roman government and over-collecting taxes was not seen um, in high regard of most Jews. And so, Matthew was likely a wealthy individual. He was likely um, also working in this field for quite a while. I um, mean, probably had friends in this field as well. So, when he chose to stop and follow Christ. He was not only leaving a job, but he was likely leaving friends and a lifestyle um, and probably luxuries that many did not see. Um, it may also seem kind of odd that he all of a sudden left that position to follow this individual, Jesus. But it was likely that Matthew had heard the teachings of Jesus many times. Um, and so what Jesus was teaching, demonstrating, showing the community, he probably heard. And so it wasn't necessarily an immediate transition to a new way of life. Um, after being called, it seems that Matthew threw a party, a celebration 
at his home and likely invited his friends, those that he had spent the last multiple years with um, in his career. These individuals sat around with the disciples and with Christ, celebrating with Matthew. Um, and these are individuals I'm going to call the party animals. We don't know if these individuals um, really saw the change in Matthew, whether they saw their own sins and decided to follow Christ. We don't know that, but we know that they came together to celebrate him, his changes, his life choices. Um, they were there to be with him uh, during this time. But then there were the other attendees. They either came to the party or were outside, and these were the Pharisees, and I am calling them the party poopers. So I want to go back to Matthew 9, 11 to 13. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why is your teacher eating with the tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, It is not those who are healthy who need a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire compassion and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. I also want to read that last verse, um, but from the message. Go figure out when go figure out what the scripture means. I'm after mercy, not religion. I'm here to invite outsiders, not coddle insiders. I really like the way that the message puts it. Um, because I think it really emphasizes the re religiosity that was going on and talking about um, inviting people in, inviting those outsiders into the party, into the celebration, into this new life of following Christ. The Pharisees were not there to celebrate with Matthew or to dine at the table with the, quote, sinners. They were there to judge and to condemn. They were finding fault in Christ. Jesus' Jesus' argument is quite logical, though. I am with the people who you acknowledge need spiritual healing, because I am a spiritual physician. The tax collectors might have recognized their need or their sickness or not, but the Pharisees would have likely believed that they were the healthy ones because they are the teachers of God's law and the guardians of the traditions that surrounded it. They believe that they are healthy because they knew what the law said and probably recited most of it by heart. Jesus will then call the Pharisees later on to recognize and confess their sickness. He charges them to go figure out what the scripture means. I'm after mercy, not religion. This reflects back on Hosea 6. Hosea 6 is a chapter that begins with a call to return to the Lord. It employs a metaphor of spiritual healing similar to this parable um, Jesus just shared about the sick being the ones who need a physician. But it is the entire nation that is in need of healing. Hosea 6 speaks of Judah's disloyalty and unfaithfulness and makes particular note of the unrighteous behavior of those in the religious class or the priests. And it ends with a promise that God will judge and restore his people. Jesus is rebuking and inviting each very religious Pharisee to repent and come to him for spiritual healing. He is asking them to join this celebration, this party. In the first gospel, Jesus not once scolds sinners. He does not criticize them. He does not demand for their repentance. But he simply eats with them, drinks with them, asks them to turn from their ways and to follow him. The lesson says that each of us are sick and we need a physician. Unfortunately, the community of believers still often find ourselves 
hanging out with the Pharisees at the other side of the room. Lately, I have seen a lot of social media posts calling out the church for their hypocrisy, their judgment, and only wanting the healthy people to join their party. The non-Christians often believe the church hates the sinners and that we talk about loving our neighbors without doing any actions. Sadly, Christians do not often do enough work or talk to these individuals to dispel this misunderstanding. Sometimes I think we often even feed into it. So who are we at this celebration? Are we the party animals celebrating with Matthew, celebrating with new Christians and individuals that even want to just learn about who God is? Or are we the party poopers, those attendees who question why those people were even invited to the party in the first place? I ask that may we always strive to be humble, honest sinners, aware of our need for a Savior, dumbfounded that the Messiah would joyfully have dinner with even us. Thank you for joining with me, and have a wonderful, light, and joyful Easter.